I think the current state of manufacturing in the U.S. is quite strong. Um, the U.S. actually contributes about 70% of its current consumption um, from products that are produced in the U.S. And, and actually, despite some of the stories you might hear, the U.S. actually still continues to be a world leader when it comes to the value-added output in manufacturing. The U.S. has been, for the last 40 years, about a quarter of the world's output in manufacturing. And, and even with the rise of um, countries like China in manufacturing, the U.S. still is, is the, the premier source when you think about uh, the value-added manufacturing. I think some of the, the challenges that companies will face as they look to reshoring, first of all, it's you know, we're at the beginning of what we think is a trend. And so um, for many companies, there's still some time that's going to be required to get the math to work. And, and as they take that holistic view of the total cost picture, we believe that there's um, going to be a tipping point for many organizations where the, that math makes sense. But once that math does make sense, there's still a number of other challenges you've got to face. Some may have difficulty finding access to financing. Others may have difficulty finding the upstream suppliers, so that those who supply the raw materials and the components to the manufacture of their products. Um, so there, there are a number of challenges that companies face, but holistically, as they, um, they look to find, you know, how do they go about doing this, working with government entities, um, working with um, organizations like Select USA that the Department of Commerce hosts, um, there's a lot of opportunities out there for companies to get the help that they need in order to, to make the reshoring possible. There are uh, four things that I'll point to that make BCG the ideal partner when, when we're working with manufacturing organizations. The first is our ability to take a holistic view of the manufacturing opportunity. So we don't just focus on the manufacturing strategy or within the four walls of a, of a plant. What we like to, to do is focus on the broader supply chain strategy, if not the broader business strategy. Second is we bring a very deep uh, bench and a, and a wide degree of expertise across a number of different industries. We've got a global network of experts that we can bring to bear in virtually any industry on virtually any manufacturing or, or supply chain related problem. Uh, we also, and I guess third would be uh, that we have the opportunity to, um, to draw on a, a vast array of tools. And, and by tools, I mean anything from a core curriculum that's quite deep that we can use to help develop customized academies um, for manufacturers, um, things that, in, that leverage both lean tools but also other ways that we think about standards to our change management and, and broader organizational capabilities. And then lastly, um, we'll bring to, um, to any organization the ability to be collaborative and to build capabilities. So one of the things that is, is foundational to our approach to manufacturing is that we want to make the, the organization um, capable and be able to um, impart those capabilities so that it's not just a one and done type of an opportunity.